Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am going to be reviewing some uh, two pieces from Emma Hairpiece. One of them is the one I'm wearing. This is a curly bob, uh, curly bob style. This one I purchased from them. At the I paid $249 for it. And the one that they sent me is this gray one. At the time of this recording, this one is $319. The reason I accepted this Emma hair piece uh, for review, and no, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, I am not getting paid for this. They have actually sent me the wig in, in exchange for my review. Emma hair piece, when I, I first learned about this company, can't remember exactly if it was from Lisa Mullins at Beautiful You Wig Reviews or if it was from Denise Sheets at Hey Wig Sister. Both ladies are friends and I I watched their videos. I reached out to them. They had nothing but good things to say about the company. So I went ahead and I ordered this one. This is a human hair. It's a human hair. This one is permed. I have worn it lots. I did wash it uh, when I first arrived. I washed it twice because the, the smell on it was pretty strong. The cap is a little different than some of my higher end, if you will, pieces, but I think the hair is really nice and soft. I have worn this one about five, five or eight times, somewhere around there. I really wasn't paying too much attention, but I wanted to see how it wears. This one has a center part, very, very narrow center part, lace front. Of course, when you receive these, you have to cut the lace. I think the lace is, it's a, it's right around like my same skin tone. I, I didn't have any problem with it. I found it washed well. I, I think I mentioned this is permed. It, this is the only color that is available. I think it is really, really pretty. I think it was Denise, the one that that origin that I saw uh, reviewing this piece, but I'm not exactly uh, sure. The lace comes all the way down to here, so it does lift a little bit right there. That doesn't bother me because I wear my hair down, and it's fine. And I'm very comfortable with this wig. I really like it. I had excellent service with them. I contacted them. I spoke to them. We went back and forth on it and I, I, I purchased it and I got it and I didn't have any problems with the wig whatsoever. They had originally reached out to me a while back, but I wasn't able to review for them because I was working for another company and I, I was on the contract. I wasn't able to, to do that. So once I wasn't working with that other company any longer, I reached back out to Emma Hair and I said, hey, I'm not working any, I am not under contract any longer. I purchased one piece from you. I loved it. If you still want to send me one, please feel free to do so. Just let me know. So they sent me this one. This one goes by the name of Granny Granny Gray Bob is what um, I don't see anything granny about it. It is human hair. And as I mentioned, this is at the time of this recording, $319. I think the hair is really, really nice hair. They are stating that this is a hundred percent Remy human hair. Please know that I am not an authority on human hair wigs. I am going to tell you what I know and I'm going to let you know what Emma Hair has the information they have provided to me. I Here's what I know about them. I know that they have excellent customer service. I have posted my pictures on Instagram showing this gray wig. And I've also posted it on my Facebook group. I've had two of my followers from Facebook say that they have reached out to Emma Hair for, to purchase wigs from them. They have, they just sent me a message saying what a nice company to deal with. How, they have been very responsive and very accommodating to what these two ladies wanted. So I, I really wanted to pass that on to you because it is important to me that if I'm reviewing for a brand or I'm reviewing for a retailer, I want them, I want to make sure that they offer you a, a good product. I do have a code they gave me to save 10%. It's it's Marlene, and I will leave it linked for you. I'll leave it posted in my description box. Is the cap the same as my 
$1,500 human hair wigs? No, it's not. But I, I don't think it's, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think it's very comfortable. I think it's well made. I don't have any problem with this one. And so far, I've only worn this one twice just for pictures and, and that quick review that I did for Instagram and Facebook. We have what I, I, they're calling this a 15 by four. If I am understanding it correctly, that means it's 15 inches of the, from, of the lace front from side to side. And the four is how much depth there is. In the synthetic wig world, we call this a full mono top. Uh, they are calling it a multi-directional. Basically, you can part it anywhere you want. Just like this one, the lace comes all the way down to the ear. So what happens in this lace, and I'll show you when I put this one on, that unless, if you if you wanna wear your hair back, you're going to have to use some adhesive, or like such as it stays or got to be or something like that. The other thing is we have an extended nape and we have hook type adjusters. Something that is interesting that I had never seen before are these straps. This strap provides tension. This one has the strap as well. However, this strap is adjustable. So it's almost like the like our bras, you know, with the hooks on it. So you can remove it if you want. I find that it's more comfortable with the strap. You, I can't feel it. I think it's all I think it's a nice addition to it. There's also the same type of adjuster so you can make it smaller or you can make it larger. That allows you that gives a more secure fit. But if you don't like it, you can remove it, especially on this one. This one you would have to cut it off. Closed it closed wefts at this bottom so there's very little stretch there. My so, oh, let me show you. We have the clips, the uh, combs on the side and comb on the other side. We also have the comb at the nape. Now, the same as this, that it's only available in this color that I'm wearing, this one is also only available in this color. I, 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 I received it, I washed it, I cut the lace on it, and then I straightened it. When I washed it, it was a little wavy. I'm going to insert cl uh, little clips at, towards the end showing how it was right out of the box. It's a little clip that I posted on Instagram and what you're going to see now is after I straighten it. I just used a flat iron. I applied a little bit of oil just to get it nice and smooth. The density is an, it's an average density. It's 150% density. This is, it's also available in a small, a medium and a large. Mine is the medium. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference. The size for the medium is 21 and a half to 22 and a half, if I'm not mistaken. And it, I, I find that it fits me a little bit on the large side. And it could be because my ear to ear and my front to back are petite average. That could be it. Nevertheless, I think it is a beautiful wig. I, I think the hair is really soft. It, it responded really well. There was no dye or anything when I washed it. It was, it was perfect. It, there was, this one had a strong scent when I first, uh, when I, when I first arrived and I did have to wash it twice. Uh, I can't remember if it was Lisa or Denise that talked about that as well. This one did not. This one had no smell to it whatsoever. So the smell on this one could have just been because it's permed. So that's, that's what it was. Yeah. It could have been just from the, from the permanent solution. That could have been the, the smell to it. This one, since it's not permed, it didn't have any, any smell to it. Overall, I think that this is perfect for anyone looking for a, to really see if you like to work, if you want to wear human hair wigs, because it's at an affordable price. And then you use my code and you get an extra 10% off. So you're basically paying under $300 for a human hair wig which is a lot less than what we pay for many of the synthetics. Okay, so if you're not familiar with these straps, as I wasn't, all you do is you just put it behind, right here, your occipital bone right there, take the back and bring it down. And that's basically all you have to do. Now, I have a widow's peak, so just um, 
uh, keep that in mind. I want you to know that I did not do any more to this wig because I wanted you to see exactly what I'm seeing. One of the things that I have found with my human hair wigs, and this could be just user error, I am not trying to sit here and say that I am an expert on human hair wig. As many of you know, my expertise is in synthetics. I am just dipping my toes in human hair wigs, so please bear with me. This is what I think is user error. I think I may be cutting the lace too close so it is lifting a little bit. That's not the wig's fault. It's not Emma Hairpiece's fault. It's my fault. So what do I do? I just take some. It stays with, with my human hair wigs. I probably have about six or seven of them. So I just add a little bit of the it stays and it's fine. No problem there. Those of you that do wear human hair wigs, perhaps you want to give me your thoughts. I don't know if you can tell, it is lifting up some. So I do have to add some it stays. In synthetics, when we have that little bit of a lifting on the lace, sometimes it has to do with the form of our forehead or the form of our heads because we don't all have the same form. So it might lift on some of us and not on the others. I don't know if it's the same with human hair wigs. Just want to make you aware it's an easy fix with your favorite uh, adhesive. As far as the parting is concerned, there is a little bit of knotting on this color, but once again, I, I don't know it, it, I don't see a problem with it. Um, it might be a problem if you want to make sure that you have a very realistic part. If you really want to get that part, my solution to that is getting some silicone tape and applying it to there to me it's not a deal breaker I don't think anybody's gonna get right on top of my head to see uh, but if that is a problem for you perhaps some a silicone tape would be would be something to do I've done that on some of my wigs or you could use a bit of concealer to just make that line a little bit more um, more realistic if you will because we do have that multi parting area then you can part it anywhere you want. As far as the coverage, once again, just like my curly bob, you see how it lifts right there. Well, my solution to that is, first of all, I don't, I don't wear my hair back. So I could just leave some of it and, and then it just blends in. If, it, if you do like to wear your hair back or if you don't have hair to pull, then you, it, you need to add some adhesive. I want to make you aware of that. And then you have to work with it in order for it to stay. But if you have some hair or you could use your own hair to blend it, then it's, or not wear your hair back, you're not going to have any issue with it. I think the wig is gorgeous. The color is very much a salt and pepper, uh, a pretty even blend. This looks very much like my bio hair, almost exactly the same. I am so happy with this. I really am. I mean, I, with the exception of just needing to add a little bit of, of, of glue, I think it is absolutely beautiful. I'm really happy to be working with this company. Let me give you a spin so you can see it on all sides. But I think they did a really, really nice job. Look at that. Beautiful job with it. 
and the hair is nice and silky and soft. I, I neglected to mention, you know, you can tuck it. See how, how natural that looks? And there's not a lot of, of human hair gray wig, so I think this is just perfect. I'll wear it about 10 or 20 times, and then I'll come back and I'll give you an update on how this hair performs. I am expecting that it's going to perform really well. Overall, I think it is a great way to get ourselves start becoming familiar with human hair wigs without spending a, a lot of money. I think it's totally worth it. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. And Emma Hairpiece, thank you so much for sending over this beautiful piece. I truly appreciate it. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic day. And I will see you next time. Bye.